Hello, my name is Etika. Welcome to my page and thank you for observing this battle. Now, before we get into it, I just wanted to give a brief introduction on who I am, just so you know like, who Etika is. Now, I'm going to be releasing a series of videos after this because I do have a passion for Pokemon battling. You see, I've been playing Pokemon since I've been eight years old. However, I only really got into the competitive metagame about two years ago. And in that time, I fell in love. I developed a passion for the strategy, the prediction, the luck base, the hacks. Yes, I, I can honestly say that I love this game. And thanks to my love, I can now share my incredible matches with all of you. Now before we go even further, you'll notice that I tend to stay away from conventional methods of battling. Meaning, to me, tears don't exist. Besides obvious ubers, of course. However, you will never see me use a strategy which is overused by everybody else. Basically, I'm an originalist. Because it's more fun that way. And anyways, when you win with a strategy that you've thought of, it actually counts as your win. Because when you use old strategies for old Pokemon, it doesn't necessarily count because it's an old strategy from someone else who's used it years before you. I mean, I'm not saying a win doesn't count if you use old strategies, but still, I feel it's more self-sufficient when you use an original one. Now, without further ado, let's get into these matches. Um, I have to say, this is my first battle and my first recording. I have new software and I haven't discovered nearly any of the new functions yet. So you can guarantee that the future battles I record will be much more refined than this. Anyways, let's get into the match. I was battling someone named Manu, and he had the standard Polytoad lead, which is the Rain Dance, great ability for this generation. I led with my Wind Tuck, incredible special defense, and very good attack. No, I mean speed. I wish he was good in attack. Anyway, so he switches out to the Scizor. Now the Bullet Punch would probably put a mud hole on my face, so I set up the light screen knowing that he would switch. And um, seeing as how I don't want to stay in, I take Wintuck out, and I go into my Virgo, which is my Diddle Queen. Special attacking, and very high defense. That's the only things I, I gave it. I didn't give it any speed at all. So, he goes for the U-turn. It does a, more damage than I thought it would, but seeing as how it's technician boost, it makes sense. He goes to the Polytoad. So, I switch Virgo out, I send in Wintuck once again. Now remember, I had the light screen up from that turn before, so this Hydro Plum won't be doing as much as you think it would. Even with the rain boosted, it still doesn't do almost, it doesn't even do over half. So he goes back into the Scizor, I take this chance to set up another Reflect. Now, let's see the Scizor kill me now. But anyways, um, I still don't want to stay in. Like, Cryogonal's defense is like, chances. Anyways, so he goes for the superpower as I expected, hits Middle Queen. Now remember, I'm especially defensive. And I had the Reflect up. And I resisted, so that didn't do much at all. Anyways, he draws Scizor, goes into Polytoad once again. Now, I thought he was going to go into a Latios, because I saw that on his team. So, I went for the Ice Beam, thinking that he would go into that, thinking that I would go for the Earth Power, but he didn't. So, he goes to Polytoad. I figure I might as well just stay in, because I don't want him to hit anything else with the Hydro Pump. So, I have to sacrifice Virgo, sadly. But then I go into Madre, who is my Kangaskhan, who I love with a passion. So now, she goes in, retaliates, hits Scizor right in the face. Now here's the amazing part, it almost does half damage to him. I mean, you know how much defense Scizor has, right? Anyways, so my light screen goes down, and I don't want Madre to stay in for another superpower, so I go into my Bermuda, but instead he goes for the U-turn. Now, I thought the superpower would hit Bermuda, and that would be quadruple resisted, but he goes into this U-turn, so it, it's not resisted as much, but hey. Anyways, so now I take this chance to calm mine, you know, get a special defense boost, and try to see if I can, you know, get a sweep bomb with um, stored power. But he goes for the hurricane. Now I'm thinking, hey, I can survive this. I got a calm mind boost. And you know what? Okay, so Bermuda dies. So now I'm like, okay, I need to revenge kill this thing. So I send in Bistro. Now Bistro, aka Tauros, has 350 max speed. And I had to make sure that that max speed was max speed. And especially with his new ability, why do you need Adamant Nature Tauros when you can have max speed and sheer force on the same build? So now he sends in Scizor once again. Now I'm thinking he's going to go for the superpower. So I just stay in an Earthquake because I don't want anything else taking that to the face. And I lost some HP, but he goes for the U-turn, which is fortunate for me. I guess he thought I would switch. So I survived this with like a smidgen of health. And I don't remember what attack I went for. Oh wait, 
Toxic Croak. Yeah. I go for an attack, he sucker punches. Hey, that's the usual deal, right? Anyways, Bistro goes down, and now I send in Madre once again to clean up with Retaliate. Now, what do you think this <laughs> you think this guy's gonna survive this? Uh no. Uh, Toxic Croak, I mean cool Pokemon, but he has no defense whatsoever. But he's very original. I haven't seen many of those. Kudos on that. So he sends in Scizor once again. I'm tired of seeing this thing. So he goes for the bullet punch and I stay in and I decide to take his ass down with me. Now this Kangaskhan has Drain Punch. So I use it to get a little bit more HP back. But at the same time I have a Life Orb on. So it kind of defeats the purpose. But you know what? More damage. Hey, whatever. But I go for the Sucker Punch. So hey, Scizor is down. And finally one of the biggest headaches of this match, who's hard to switch into, is actually taken down. Now he sends in the Latias. This is what I've been waiting for. I go for the Sucker Punch, but he's smart. He goes for the Substitute. So now I'm saying, okay, I have to make sure the Substitute is gone because I do not want that thing to get these boosts up with the sub up after he kills Madre. So I don't care what he does. I'm just going to go for the Sucker Punch to get that Substitute down because um, I have a little treat in store for this Latias later on in the match. So I'm not even worried at this point. I'm just trying to get that sub down. And lucky me, he goes for the attack. I take the sub down. Latias has no defense whatsoever. Well, it has good defense, but I mean, none compared to like other Pokemon. And boom. So now that the sub is down, I can go into somebody else who can probably put more of a threat to him. So I send in Wintuck. AKA Cryogonol. Now it's fast, but not faster than Latias. So Latias starts boosting up. And I say, okay, well, I can stay in there. I start hitting him with the ice beams. Now super effective damage should be alright. With stab too, but he has the calm minds up, so it kinda didn't do as much as I was hoping it would. But you know what? I had a plan for this. I wanted to see how this guy thinks. You see, Pokemon is all about getting into the other person's head, knowing what they're gonna do without predicting them. So I figured he's getting pretty cocky right now. He's probably gonna wanna like boost up as much as he can because people who use Pokemon like this, they get greedy very easy. So now he's going for Calm Minds all the time, so I take this chance to switch in Lucifer. Now Lucifer is in. Now, here's where the real fun starts. <laughs> now, he obviously sees Lucifer as a threat, so he goes for the attack. I go for the Sucker Punch. At half health, there's no way Latias is surviving that. It wouldn't survive it with full health. I've taken down multiple Latias and Latios with Sucker Punches from Lucifer. So, I go for another Sucker Punch. And now, I know you're thinking, why the hell would you do that? I take the Hydro Pump right to the face with the Rain Boost. You think I'm surviving this? I am. <laughs> Anyways, the Focus Sash activates, and then he switches out. So he thinks I'm going for another Sucker Punch, so he goes into Electrifier. I do go for another Sucker Punch, but it fails because he didn't attack. So he, I switch out, and I go into Wintuck, who is my Cryogon all again to take the earthquake but he goes for the ice punch so that's better too i mean i didn't think i would survive it but hey i did this a little bit so now i'm able to retaliate with an ice beam right to this dude's dome that mushroom headed <sighs> anyways but he doesn't kill him so he goes for the thunder punch finishes off winter but now i'm like okay no sweat i'll send in lucifer clean up with the sucker punch so there's no problem here now there is a problem he knows the sucker punch is on me so he starts playing a switcheroo game now here's where it gets really entertaining i suck a punch again and it doesn't work i know how this guy thinks he thinks cocky so i'm saying okay i gotta keep him like and keep him just like sucker punching all the time sucker punch sucker punch i want to think that my pp ran out because i have pp max on this guy so sucker punch again he switches out once more you see it's a head game here pokemon is all about the head games he goes to electrifier once again i go for another sucker punch just to be safe but no, so he keeps on switching. So I'm like, okay, I see what this guy's gonna do. So instead of going for the sucker punch, I use the heat wave. Now, keep in mind that it's like minus thanks to the rain, so it doesn't kill him. However, he keeps being cocky. He keeps getting cocky. So I go for the heat wave once more. And I finish off Electrify, even with the rain taking it down. It's stab boosted, so I mean, hey. Now Polyto comes back in. He has no other option to attack. Lucifer goes for the sucker punch, and the match is mine. But that was a beautiful match regardless. That came down to the wire. Literally. I had one HP. You saw that. Anyways, thank you all for watching the battle. And um, honestly, this is my first match ever. But I'm really hoping that things can get much better from this point on. I, I have a whole team of people. A.K.A. the round table. Shout outs to Herschel, Ramin, Ben, Mike, and everybody else who's part of it. Courtney, you know, Leo, all those other guys who are part of the round table and what we are are basically a legion of battlers 
who are a group on Facebook that just do competitive battles for fun. Now, I j I'm the only one that knows how to record the battles and put them online now, uh, or actually, I should say, I'm the one who has the ability to. So you're going to be seeing a lot more battles coming from us. Trust me.